and today we are making butternut squash alfredo. Yum. Yum. So this butternut squash alfredo is super yummy and it's topped with bacon, so I don't think you can go wrong with this one. Mm -mm. So here's what you need to get started. Bacon, butter, diced red onion, garlic, butternut squash cut into cubes, low sodium chicken stock, your spices, which are diced fresh sage, diced fresh thyme, and salt, 2% milk, and your pasta. In a large skillet, melt the butter and saute the red onion for a couple minutes. Then you're gonna add the garlic and saute that for about 30 seconds before adding in the squash, the seasonings and the salt, and the chicken stock. Stir it all up, cover it, and let it cook for about eight to 10 minutes. Meanwhile, dice up the bacon and heat a small skillet to medium high heat and saute until crispy, about four to five minutes. Next, once the squash is tender, add the squash mixture to a food processor or a high powered blender and blend it all together with the milk and salt to taste until smooth. Finally, bring a large pot of water to boil and cook the pasta of your choice. All right, Judge Juni is having some of the sauteed squash. This is what's on the menu. Oh, she's already interested. <laughs> Did you not like that? June's a fan of butternut squash. Is that yuckies? Yeah, she did not like that. All right, we're good. you're already digging in. Hey, you got first bites. All right, you guys, so that is our alternative to spaghetti for tonight. We're having butternut squash, and it's gonna be really yummy. Yum, it's also topped with bacon, so this is amazing. Let us know down in the comments what you would top it with. I mean, I don't think you can go wrong with bacon, but I'm sure there's other stuff that would taste great with this pasta. Um, subscribe to Baby League if you haven't already, because we do videos every Wednesday, and we'll see you next week.